Bluebell, are you in there? It's just me. No one else, I promise. I wanted to talk with you, you know. But you're being awfully quiet. Is something the matter? Are you certain about this? I will not leave you alone. Bluebell, if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. I only wish to know the truth. You barely touched your supper this evening. That's quite unlike you. If something is troubling you, I should like to know. That way, if you want space, I can give it to you. Or if you need to be comforted in some other way, I can provide that comfort. I only wish to know if something is wrong. All right. Do you wish to speak of it? Not really. May I ask why? Why do I want to know? Well, sometimes people don't want to talk about things because they're afraid they won't be listened to. They're afraid they'll be judged. They're afraid that whatever they say will be regarded as childish or foolish. If that's the case, I hope you know that I would never judge you. I would never ignore you. I would never regard your feelings as childish or foolish. Nothing of that sort at all. If you don't want to talk about it because that will only make matters worse, I understand. I'll keep a respectful distance, but I'll always be here for you. But if you're refusing to speak because you're worried I'll judge you or won't listen, Please reconsider. I'm more than willing to listen to you. And if you need help with this, I can certainly try to help you. Of course I promise. I've always stood by your side, haven't I? Just as you've always stood by mine. I'll support you, no matter what. I'll love you, no matter what. Just open this door, and let me listen to what you have to say. That's it. So, what's going on? You're feeling a bit down. Any particular reason why? That's the problem. What do you mean by that? You don't know why you're feeling so down? You just... are? You don't know? Well, that's alright. If you're feeling sad just because you are, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone has off days. It's nothing to be ashamed of. And it's nothing to feel bad about. I promise. How about we go through your day, step by step, to see if there's something in particular that's causing you to feel this way? If we find something, wonderful. We'll be sure to keep it in mind the next time we're doing that activity. And if we don't find anything... Well, we'll see what we can do to cheer you up, all right? All right. Let's start with earlier this morning, when you woke up. Were you feeling sad then? No. All right, that's a good start. This means that something happened today 
to cause you to feel this way. Or you're just feeling this way today because that's just how you feel. At least we know that you weren't feeling this way yesterday. That's very good. Did you feel rested when you woke up? Or were you still tired? You were still a bit tired? All right. I noticed that you ate all of your breakfast this morning. And forgive me if I'm jumping ahead of myself, but... When we were eating lunch, it seemed that you had lost your appetite just a little. Only a little, though. Nothing compared to when we had supper. You started feeling this way a little while after lunch. Hmm. Do you recall what you were doing when you started feeling this way? You were reading a letter from a friend. Are they experiencing something that is troubling, or did they say something to rub you the wrong way? Hmm. How long has it been since you were able to see them? A few weeks. And before you came to live with me... How often did you see them? Almost every day. Bluebell, I think you might be feeling a little lonely. I wouldn't say it's impossible. Granted, there are several other people in this household, but that doesn't mean that you can't feel lonely. After all, five of the people here are demons and, of course, I am usually tending to business. I don't have enough time to spend with you. I am sorry about that. I think maybe reading your friend's letter, it made you feel a bit Lonely, and that caused your sadness. Well, there are a few ways we could go about solving this problem. For instance, I could always start by spending more time with you. Would you like that? You would? Wonderful. Then, I think tomorrow we should get to work on a schedule that will suit both of our needs. As for when I can't be with you, no matter how much I want to, we should try to find a way to get in contact with your friend quickly. That way you can spend time with each other. How does that sound? I thought you might like that idea. Now... Since we have a plan in place to keep you from feeling lonely and sad like this in the future, how about we focus on cheering you up for right now? Oh, Bluebell, you still aren't smiling. I think you need to be cheered up a little more. How about you lie down a moment? I'm sure you'll be much more comfortable that way, don't you think? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I won't mind. In fact, I think I might lie beside you. After all, your bed is quite comfortable. Much more comfortable than mine. Oh, I know, I know. There are very few differences between our beds, but yours is the only one with you in it. <laughs> You're so cute when you blush. I know, 
I know you blush quite often. You're so cute quite often. <laughs> now, you usually like when I hold you. Would you like me to do so now? All right, Bluebell. Come here. There you are. Are you comfortable? Good, very good. Would you like to rest your head on my chest? Of course it's all right. I trust you. I trust you to be this close to me. I always will trust you. It's all right. There you go. Would it help if I rubbed your back a little? All right then. There you go. Now, how about we think of happy memories between the two of us? Would you like that? All right. Let's see. Oh, that was that time we were outside and we got caught in the rain. I threw my jacket over you in such a rush. I didn't want you to get all wet and cold. In the end, I ended up getting sick. But I didn't care. Because you were by my side every minute of it. Of course, that led to you getting sick a week later, but... I took care of you, and then I got sick again, and Anna had to separate us so we didn't keep getting each other sick. Yes, that was a rather miserable few weeks, but looking back on it, it's rather amusing, don't you think? That was before we got engaged. It was like we were in love and we didn't even know it. I think that happens rather often, don't you agree? Feelings, they lie dormant inside of a person's heart. Sometimes even for years. Fortunately, that wasn't the case between the two of us. But there was a time when I never would have thought that we'd be getting married. Still, the day draws ever nearer, and I look forward to it more and more each day. In fact, I get a little nervous thinking about it. Why do you think? You are the most important person in my life. I've told you about what's happened to everyone else I've ever cared about. They've all died. They've all abandoned me. Except for you. I get nervous the closer that day comes. Because I fear. Though I know it's childish to be afraid of such a thing. I fear that before that day comes, some wicked force will tear you away from me, and I'll never see you again. <laughs> You're always so good at comforting me, Bluebell. That's one of the things I love most about you. You care about what I have to say. You listen to me. And you don't immediately invalidate my feelings or call them childish or immature. I love that about you. And I hope that I'm doing a good job of returning the favor for you. Am I? Good, good. Oh. oh, you yawned. 
Aren't you getting a little sleepy? Would you like me to stay with you? So what if it's improper? The only other people in this house are demons. Do you really think they care about what's proper and improper? Oh, please. Do you really think I care? All I care about is you. And whether it's proper or improper, I don't want to leave you when you're in this state. In fact, I never want to leave you at all. It always pains me to leave you. Even if fits for five minutes. Even a single minute. It's agonizing. So unless it bothers you to have me here, I should like to stay. All right, then. I'll stay awake. I'll hold you. And once you fall asleep, perhaps I'll join you in your dreams. <laughs>